I've always been really interested in the way things look. My favorite things as a kid were looking through vintage car books and building model trains. And now that I'm in college, I've wanted to understand why we love certain objects so much. So what I've started to do is study everything I've found inspiring. I realize there are famous styles and characteristics that designers have created, and people relate to these styles despite changing trends and tastes. To discover this, I started to study Cadillac. And instead of studying this through market research or historical documentation, I've chosen to find it in my own way. As an industrial design student who's studying film, I've been really interested in the expressive or inspirational images that drive so much of our emotions about a person, place, or thing. I began to analyze lines and composition, as well as cinematic conventions such as repetition, timing, editing, and angles. But then I started getting deeper into designing and filmmaking by making things and filming short documentaries about car owner stories. By using both of these methods to help me understand and study Cadillac, I started interpreting it. And so began the Cadillac Glasses Project. The Cadillac Glasses Project is a journey through a series of projects I've been working on this past year that encompasses my senior thesis and lives on a website that is all aimed to help us, in a way, put on a pair of glasses that help us see and understand what Cadillac is all about. It's about finding its identity and why Cadillac is the way that it is. It's also about understanding how a designer sees things and creates things. My name is Mike Herbert, and I'm a student at Columbia College Chicago, and this is an introduction to the Cadillac Glasses Project. My first project was a stationary object that I could design with the same expressiveness as the car. And I chose to design a console table that I would then build in my furniture construction class that captured that aesthetic feeling that seemed to be a part of Cadillac's identity. However, I didn't want to just copy distinct styling elements of a Cadillac onto this table. So, instead, I translated or abstracted the tail fins, chrome grills, and facets into words and expressions. My main words were drama, power, and movement, and these manifested into things like V-shapes, offset balance, surface folds, exaggerations, and many other design choices that have guided this and many other concepts that could be made. I then got back into using my camera to continue exploring, and I tried capturing the shapes and details that I thought expressed my words, as well as other enthusiasts and owners' interpretations, such as stateliness or sculpturalness. As I did this, I began to see my own interpretation maturing. I started seeing Cadillac expressing this high concept of audacious grandness or wild royalness. I then directed a film with cinematography students to capture this in Cadillac styling. We worked on exaggerating the grandiose jewel-like grill in on the 1959, and the cinematographer brought that out by lighting it sharply moving the camera across the hood, and then trailing the shot off down the side of the car. We also shot a modern car, and captured its wild, crystal-like surfaces by traveling through the converging surfaces and facets along the belt line of the car. We came out with what I call visual car poems, or film sketches, of each car that illustrates what is important about Cadillac's identity in its styling. But, then I realized I missed what may be the most important part. In designing and filmmaking, everything is about story. In filmmaking, every aesthetic choice, be it composition, lighting, scenery, or sound, is used to further the character's situation, to foreshadow or tell a backstory. And whether we know it or not, cool looking shots serve a purpose. In design, Products also have stories surrounding them that help make sense of what these products are. Be it through semantics, styling, or functionality, a well-designed object becomes a character of its own. This character is what I had missed and needed. I only saw Cadillac's face, but missed its personality. Around this time, from my whole journey, from talking to owners, driving Cadillacs, making interpretations, and having to explain what I saw and felt, I began to see a persona that was Cadillac. To make sense of these thoughts, I then designed a product that also has the same ethos of personality of a Cadillac. And by designing a camera that not only looked grand and audacious, but also behaved that way, my understanding of Cadillac became richer 
and Cadillac began to have a story. I realized that Cadillac has tension between high-end performance and luxurious technological features. Its character wants to do anything, reach the impossible, but always be refined and well-groomed. In my journey, Cadillac began as tail fins, bold chrome grills, and faceted details that reveal these expressions of power, drama, and movement. Then, the identity of audacious grandness and wild royalness began to evolve and tell a story. However, if the only story we saw was just Cadillac's aesthetic image, we wouldn't actually know its identity. This personality of cutting edgeness, uniqueness, and performance that is always in tension with luxurious elegance helps us know how this design identity actually exists. Without an experience, without a character that would produce an action, the beautiful object or the inspiring image would never reach a complete concept. So the camera I designed has this tension of being a performance great tool where you can control exposure functions manually, but there is always this element of automatic control. Cadillacs have always had automatic transmissions, but still give the quality of performance like a stick shift. A DSLR that allows you to manually override an automatic setting with an instant feedback display and then allows you to take a photograph like a professional could be an instructive, helpful, and powerful camera. Through translating this part of Cadillac into an object that wasn't just beautiful but also useful, from finding the story of both the aesthetic and the behavior, I've finally begun to find the Cadillac glasses.